Hi everyone, Nubkex here. Very different um, sort of video here today on the channel. This is a serious video, a serious discussion about a serious issue. Serious times three, you know it's serious now. Um, but yeah, this is, if you haven't been following social media, uh, a huge story breaking. Uh, Bloomberg Law, I think, was one of the first to post this uh, about Activision Blizzard being sued over frat boy culture and harassment of uh, their female employees. So I'm going to read through a good chunk of this article and give my opinion, my thoughts on it. Um, because, yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty insane. Video game giant Activision Blizzard, make it, uh, maker of games such as World of Warcraft and Diablo, fosters a frat boy culture in which female employees are subjected to constant sexual harassment, unequal pay, and retaliation, according to a lawsuit filed by the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing. A two-year investigation by the state agency found that the company discriminated against female employees in terms and conditions of employment, including compensation, assignment, promotion, and termination. Company leadership consistently failed to take steps to prevent this. Uh, female employees, according to the complaint, make up 20% of the Activision workforce and are subjected to a pervasive frat boy workplace culture, including cube crawls in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol as they crawl their way through various cubicles in the office and engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees. And this goes on and on. This just gets worse and worse. And there's some crazy thing here. Uh, there's crazy things in here, absolutely crazy. Female employees allege being held back from promotions because of the possibility of becoming pregnant, being criticized for leaving work to pick up their children from daycare, being kicked out of lactation rooms so male colleagues could use the rooms for meetings, I don't know what's going on there. That sounds completely insane. Um, there was, it gets, and again, it just keeps, it keeps getting worse and worse. Um, the suit also points to a female Activision employee who took her own life while on a company trip with her male supervisor. The employee had been subjected to intense sexual harassment prior to her death, including having nude photos passed around at a company holiday party. Um, yeah. It, it this is it's it's insane guys it is completely insane um a lot of the, the common questions i've seen asked about this like one of the common questions i think this is really important is is this just an activision blizzard problem and i come back to the activision blizzard breakdown because it's different from a lot of the excuses that are often made um but I, I think it, it should be very clear, I think, to gamers nowadays. I think this is the good news. The good side of this horrible situation is that I think gamers, especially gamers who have been playing Blizzard games, are becoming aware of just how big of a problem this is. And, you know, there, there's just a, a huge public movement, a huge lashback against this sort of behavior um, that will hopefully make... A, help to make a big big change to how these companies uh, are treating their their employees and and the sort of discrimination that goes on but this is not just an activision blizzard problem this is this is a problem obviously in every workplace i think that it's extremely i, I think it's more common probably i suspect in in video game related work workplaces because they are generally speaking fairly male dominated it's like for instance here as they said 20 percent of the workforce only is female so it's a male dominated workplace you know video games are more commonly played by males more so so i think it's 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 much easier for sexism and discrimination to to get a grasp to to flourish or to be allowed to to exist in those sorts of places and that's a real danger but i think we're becoming very aware of that i mean uh, riot games had similar things against them ubisoft i think as well was sexual harassment i believe um obviously for the world of warcraft community in particular i think it was about a year maybe two ago we had the whole josh priest uh the whole josh priest uh controversy uh he was a raider with the then method raid team uh who was using his position to uh essentially conduct pedophilia and, and groom uh young women it's crazy stuff um a whole bunch we had then a whole bunch of other content creators and streamers were called out as well crazy the good side is that again i think that we are now very aware of just how common this is uh, uh and people are willing to fight back against it which i think is good I, I definitely for me personally i don't think that you know twitter social media witch hunts are a good idea i don't think they are good um i, I think if you think they're good in my opinion that's a the end justifies the means sort of thing. I think that they're very dangerous. They're not good. 
I think it's good that this stuff gets clamped down on. I think it's good that there's awareness. It's good that we support things going against it and that we call out uh, this sort of stuff when we see it happening. But I, I don't think you know, anger uh, and witch hunts is the way to do it, in my opinion. But that's a much bigger topic. Um, the other second question, which I obviously hinted towards earlier, was, is this an Activision Blizzard problem? Is it a Blizzard problem? Is it an Activision problem? Again, I suspect that there's very much sexual harassment in both. In fact, I just briefly glimpsed the title of an article, which was about Bobby Kotick, who was, I think, found guilty, in fact, of sexual harassment, maybe over a dozen years ago. Um, but this is a Blizzard problem, okay? It's not as if Activision acquired Blizzard. They came in, and Blizzard were there going, we respect women. We love women. This is great. We are a respectable, uh, equitable workplace. And Activision came in, this multi, multi-million multi dollar company, multi-billion dollar company, and said, no, no, no. You need to discriminate more against women. We're changing the rules. You've got to start organizing these frat parties and stuff like that. That that never happened. That obviously didn't happen. This is something that has existed before. I did want to share this clip, which is crazy. Um, I haven't actually mentioned this already, but Alex Afrasiabi, was one of the, uh, I think he's the only person that has been specifically named in this. He was, I think, the creative director for World of Warcraft for a very long time. And he actually quietly left the company, again, maybe about a year or so ago, which again, that's a good thing that, again, assuming, uh, presumably he was fired for what he had done once this investigation, this two-year investigation started going, they realized what he had done and they fired him. So that's good, should it have happened sooner, of course, but it's good that at least something was eventually done, though obviously a lot more does need to be done. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll look at this in a second. <sighs> yeah, it's, this is bad. Specifically named in the suit against Activision Blizzard is openly disgusting. A fan requested female characters not look like they walked out of Victoria's Secret car uh, catalog. His and others' response disgusting. Let's look at this. This is from 2010, guys. From the q a let's watch this because this again we just watched this short clip but this is just crazy Hi there. Uh, Nancy from hopefully you guys can hear this i love what you guys done with world of warcraft i love the fact that you have a lot of very strong female characters however i was wondering if we could have some that don't I'll put these like subtitles on because it's very quiet secrets catalog but yeah basically the question is what are you going to do about these characters that look like you stepped out of victoria's secret catalog <clears throat> yeah. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Which catalog would you like them to step out of? Yeah. Um, so the guy in the far right is Alex Afrasiabi. Could, could, you, could you see Sylvanas looking any other way? <laughs> right. So. This is him. Ophelia, and uh, we want to vary our female characters, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll pick different catalogs. <laughs> So yeah, again, this is the guy that has been specifically named in sexual hey, uh, harassment. Alex, what uh, what catalog is that like, uh, torn female coming out of? It's just crazy. And not, not that the there is J. Allen yeah. Brack, the current sexy, sexy like Cal fucking business. hell, man. He's the current director of Blizzard. That's him over there. Some sort of agricultural. <laughs> like it's, I think it's bad, guys. Like I think that's just so bad. It's just so. When you know that there are legitimate sexual harassment complaints coming out against it and you see that's their response and you see that sort of that sort of smirk that smarm that is just it's really bad it's really off-putting um and again this is the other thing something else i wanted to also point out a final point to end on which i think is also very important as well uh because it's a it's a mistake that i see very commonly made um First of all, let me make it without reference to any sexual harassment things, which is a point. And again, you can see the contradiction in the point. But again, people like to complain about Blizzard. Um, and they'll say that Blizzard, they, they, they've consistently not listened to us. They're not listening. They're not, in terms of gameplay, they're not putting the stuff that we want in the game. They haven't been doing this for years. They're not listening for years. And then you have this announcement that so-and-so who has been with Blizzard for years has left the company. <laughs> And then uh, people are like, oh my God, it sucks. Now the, the, the talent is leaving. Now it sucks. But I mean, you put the two and two together, right? And it's kind of going like, oh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, perhaps the person who is here for years might have been part of the problem all along. Perhaps these guys that have been in this, you know, these high positions in Blizzard, you know, being fired or leaving the company, some of them obviously are a big loss. Some of them obviously are not big losses. And them actually leaving is good. Um, 
So yeah, I think that that's ridiculous. Uh, but certainly, again, guys, this was from 2010, yeah? This has been something that has been going on for a long time. This happened under Mike Morheim. This has probably been the culture for a long time. And again, that's common. Like this is, a, the, it's been the case in loads of other companies. It's not a surprise, it's not a shock uh, in that sense. This has happened in loads of different companies. Yeah, um, now it's come out that's happened in Blizzard. It's happened, like I already said, in lots of other World of Warcraft scenarios as well with content creators and streamers and stuff like that. So there you go. Um, there's sort of my quick thoughts on this. This is really shocking. Uh, this is really bad. Um, again, the hope for me, I think the direction to take is what's important is that we have, uh, that there are agencies like this that are looking into it and that companies, I mean, Blizzard to themselves, they claim that, um, that they have improved and that this sort of stuff doesn't happen anymore. Now, obviously, I think that's an exaggeration. I'd be shocked if there wasn't sexual harassment and stuff. I would, to be fair to Blizzard, assume that they probably have improved uh, somewhat on the sexism related issues. Again, just because generally speaking, I think that is the general trend across really all companies as awareness of this issue and action being taken on this issue um, has just increased in recent years. So I think that likely they have improved. They're likely there's still a lot of bad things happening. Uh, unlikely this investigation needs to yeah it's gone to the court which is good hopefully it gets sorted out and i think that's what's important that this stuff gets sorted out that there's good legal frameworks that companies are, are forced to have these good frameworks to deal with these problems um because like whatever like these guys they're just going to go work in a different company right um or even aside of that it's just this is what people are like right this is what people are like this is human nature this is what people are like and without like good good frameworks in place, this is the sort of stuff that will just keep happening, right? Um, you know, if this is not some new problem, this is something that's always been a problem, it's a consistent problem, and it can only be solved by having uh, things like this to, to oversee it. So I think that's important, and that's the thing where we could hopefully walk forward from this, and hopefully after this, Blizzard will be a better company. They will be even, even better. They'll be stricter on this. They'll be pushing stuff further to stop this happening. And other companies will do the same across the whole gaming world. And hopefully we'll all be more aware as well and encourage companies and support companies that do things right. There you go, guys. Quick thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, um, yeah. There you go. That's what I think. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.